Hello I'm Karen and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to make um, a really really pretty neck warmer. Um, the pattern that I'm using is actually a shell pattern and I've, on this particular one I've used a colour changing yarn which I really liked but I felt it still looked quite like a baby blanket. <laughs> so I'm going to be crocheting mine in white. It's a two sequence pattern it, it, so it's like you, you use one row and then you use another row and then you repeat the first row and the second row um, to be able to create it. And it works in a set of six. So what you need to do is you need to begin with um, a chain that actually is divided by, that can be divided by six. And then you add two, okay? <clears throat> okay, get my tension ready. I'm using a six millimeter hook, which is a J10. Um, in the US and I'm going to begin with my twist and to start off with I'm going to do a chain of 24 so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So you always make a chain that's actually can be divided by six. Okay, and once you've got your chain that's divided by six, you need to add two. And this is for your turning point. Okay, um, I forgot to mention, I'm actually using um, a double knit yarn which is actually recommended that you use a four millimeter crochet hook. But like I said, I'm using a number six millimeter crochet hook because I wanted it to have a more floppy effect. So we've got our chain. Um, we've now got 26 chains, obviously, but so we skip the first chain and into the second chain, we're going to work a single crochet if you're in the US or a double crochet if you're in the UK. And then we're going to yarn over and skip two and into the third chain we're going to work um, the double crochet if you're in the US or the treble crochet if you're in the UK and we need to work five into this particular one so I've already done one two three four and five and I'm going to skip two and work the single crochet if you're in the US or the double crochet if you're in the UK then yarn over skip two into the third chain we're going to work our five double or five treble depending where you are so that's two three, four and five. I'm just pulling out some more yarn. <laughs> oh, right. Skip two and work the single crochet or the double crochet if you're in the UK. Yarn over, skip two chains, work into the third one. We're going to do the sequence of five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Skip two, work the single crochet if you're in the US or the double crochet if you're in the UK. Yarn over, skip two into the third chain oops I can't get in there I'm just going underneath one strand by the way I forgot to tell you that I am awful aren't I sorry about that <laughs> one <Ooh. laughs> one two I can't crochet today three four and 
five and then we skip two and work the single crochet or the double crochet in the very end chain okay and you'll have something that looks like that so this is the first row of the sequence okay um, the, this actually is slightly different on the first row obviously because we added the chain two at the end I'm sorry I was just getting some more yarn so now we need to chain three one two three and this is the row where I like to say that I'm actually making the diamond holes okay which technically on the end you're actually making a triangle just there so yarn over and you skip the two chains um, two stitches there and into the third one into the middle of your fan or your shell you want to work the five double crochet if you're in the US or treble crochet if you're in the UK so that's one two three four my yarn's coming to get me <laughs> and five now I'm going to yarn over hold my yarn there and we're skipping all of these because we're going to work straight into the middle of the next fan or shell and still working the five double or the five treble crochet stitches so that's one two three, four, and five. My yarn wants to tangle up today, I don't know why it's in one of those moods. <clears throat> okay, and so we're going to yarn over, we're skipping everything and right into the middle of the next fan or the shell we work five more double if you're in the US or treble if you're in the UK so that's two three four and five and then into the last fan I'm going to work into the middle stitch so there's always two stitches and then that one because then you've got your two the other side One, two, three, four, and five. And because I was this row was making the diamond holes, or which is a triangular hole at the end, what we need to do is do the double crochet stitch or the treble crochet. I'm going to work into this very end single crochet that we, or that's a double crochet. <laughs> it gets very confusing when you're translating over into these um, different versions. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Okay, so that's the sequence and it looks like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make these curves over the top. So we chain one, turn we're going to make a single crochet if you're in the US or a double crochet if you're in the UK into the actual hole so we're over the actual previous stitch just there then yarn over and then we're skipping the two and into the middle of the fan we're going to work the sequence of five again so this is five double crochet if you're in the US or five treble crochet if you're in the UK so that's two three, four, and five. And then we're going to single crochet or double crochet into the diamond hole there. And then we just need to get some more yarn. Then yarn over and into the middle of this fan work the five double or treble crochet stitches. That's one, two, three, four, and five. 
and then we're going to work the single crochet or the double crochet into the diamond hole and then yarn over into the middle of the next fan we work the five double or the five treble stitches that's two <coughs> sorry about that three four and five and again a single crochet or double crochet into the diamond hole I need some more yarn and then work the five into the middle of this fan of five one I'm tangled up <laughs> one two three four and five and because on this row all the time we're working the single or the double crochet into the actual diamond hole we need to remember to work one into the last triangle hole just there so that gives us these little circles okay and so now we're going to go back to we're going to make another row now where we're going to actually make the diamond hole so we need to make a chain of three one two three turn and now we're working straight into the middle of the tops of all of our fans with the five double crochet if you're in the US or treble crochet if you're in the UK. So that's two, three, four and five. Getting some more yarn. Do you hear that getting? <laughs> I'm just so common. Um, right then, so now we're going to work directly into this next stitch here, um, next fan there, into the middle, and work our five stitches. That's one, oops, two, three, four and five into the next fan into the middle one two three four and five and then into the very last fan into the middle there one need some more yarn <clears throat> it doesn't want to be coming out of the center of my ball um smoothly as i'm crocheting this time two three four and five and now we're at the end of this row and what we're going to do is we're going to work the double crochet if you're in the US or the treble crochet if you're in the UK into this single crochet at the end or the double crochet depending where you're from so that completes so we've got our triangle at the end there and then we've got our diamonds okay and we'll do it again chain one turn and this is the row where we make I like to call them circles and diamonds it's not really what they are but it just helps so we're going to work the single or the double crochet into the actual hole there yarn over and into the middle of the fan or the shell we're going to work the five double or five treble that's one two three, four, five and now we need to work our single or our double crochet into the actual diamond hole and then yarn over and we're going to work 
uh, double crochet or treble crochet into the middle of the of the fan that we've made from the previous row. So that's two, three, four, and five. And then again, single or double crochet into the actual diamond hole. And then we're going to work the five um, and create a new fan on the top of the other fan or in the middle of the other fan should I say. That's two, three, four, five. I'll get some more yarn. <laughs> And then single crochet or double crochet into the actual diamond hole and then work the five double or five treble into the top of the this uh, middle stitch of the fan so that's two three four five and five and then we're going to work because we need to complete this one so we're working a single crochet or a double crochet into the end there okay so then now you've got your curves on the top again now as you can see as we're working we're making these circles but the bottom row has actually only got half okay so what you have to do is when you're actually going to make it into the actual neck warmer we need to make a chain of three two three and we'll always end on um, with just a half circle. So as we do these diamond holes, it will leave us with the half of a circle. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to work straight into the middle of the next one. Oops. One. Oops, a daisy, I've split my arm. Two. Three. Four. Five. Into the middle of the next fan. One, two, three, four, five, and into the middle of the last fan. One. Two, three, just a bit more yarn, four, five. And then we're going to work our double or our treble crochet into the single crochet stitch at the end there just to complete the effect that we've been creating. Now I'm just going to stop there just for a minute because obviously we have been working for 20 minutes already so you can see to be able to actually make the neck warmer you need to have the way that I counted it was 22 circles and then you, you need a half circle at each end okay and so what you do I'm not, obviously this is not a finished one but I'm just going to show you how to work down the sides and then I've got another piece that I've already got to the correct length where I'm going to show you how to actually join the ends to make them look as near as circles as, as they can so it matches up. So when you come down the sides, we've been working either a double crochet um, stitch if you're in the US or a treble crochet stitch if you're in the UK um, and chains of three. So what we need to do is now we need to work three um, single crochet if you're in the US or double crochet if you're in the UK 
need to work three of those stitches over the actual chains or the um, stitches that you've created so that's three then into the very end where you've got the single crochet we've been working you work another stitch there and so you just keep on going all the way down to the side so it's always got three in these and this just gives you this nice neat edge um, for you to be able to complete your work okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop there with that piece move this out of my way and here's the one that I made earlier and I've already as you can see I, I've finished on my row um, where I've got my half circles and I've done my three stitches all the way down to the very end all the way to the very end and then what you actually need to do is I'm going to undo that very last stitch because I actually made it all the way to the end so we've got our three stitches in our chain and then for this one here you work your stitch you want to go through one side and then through the end stitch of the other side and work a single crochet for you in the US or a double crochet for you in the UK and then you want to make a chain of two one two and then we work through the actual hole because that was the row that we very that we could begin with with our chain so through there and then through the middle of the circle of the half circle on the other one so into the third into the middle of there and work our single or double crochet stitch and then chain two one two and then we've got a single crochet stitch this side so you can go through there and then through the hole or you can go through the whole of everything um, to match it up. I'm going to go through the stitch because I like that. And then chain two, work through the whole of that one, through the middle of the fan of the other one, chain two, and then into the single stitch this side and into the hole the other side. And then chain two into the middle of that stitch there and into the middle of this fan here I hope you can see all right what I'm doing <laughs> chain two and then we're going to work I'm going to work through that stitch there and into that hole there and chain two and then work into this middle of this stitch here chain two I'm going to join these two ends together so I'm going to go through the stitch there and through the chain of the opposite side and then once you've done that you can then work your I've got my tail end in the way there you can then work the three stitches over the chain so that's one Two, oops, two, three, and then into the top there. And you just keep going all the way around the edge. And then you can see that it's, got, it's created this curve as you've gone around. I know it's not made those perfect circles as it's joined, but I think that it's a very nice effect for you to finish with. And if I show you on this one here, I actually made a mistake on this one because I actually only did two stitches on the tops of there. And I haven't sewn in the end so that you can see. This is where I did the join, just there. And then when I got to the very end, because it was actually, this was my very, I'd gone around and then all the way around the top there. When I got to the end there, because I wanted to make it so that, if you look at the way that that curves over, look, just there, and it sort of tucks underneath. So when I got to the very end there, I just, I've made um, the stitch so it just tucks underneath that end there, just so that it gives you a nice, neat effect. And obviously when you wear it, you can decide whether you want to have that at the front or whether you have it at the back, and you scrunch it all up when you're wearing it. And that creates a lovely neck warmer. Um, I did actually 
make some other ones which I'm just going to show you just in case you want to experiment and then you can see how bad it turns out <laughs> so if you make it with the curves on the end and then you try and join the curves up you get this what I thought was a, a sort of lovely bobble effect however when you try and wear it it just doesn't sit right it just goes really weird so the choice is yours at the end of at the end of the day saying and I just put I'm sorry got hair there um, I just put the fan, which was still a, a chain, um, still made of five, and then I made um, the single crochet or the double crochet stitch actually over the chains for this one, which I think this one, to be fair, does look more babyfied. Um, and if you make it in a thicker yarn and still use the number six, <laughs> um, this one's actually I actually made a chain of sixty to begin this one. And this is a lot stiffer, um, but it makes a beautiful blanket. Okay, so um, the choice is yours at the end of the day, whether you would like to make a neck warmer or whether you would like to make a blanket, really. But I just thought I'd like to share this one. Okay, so thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your lovely comments. I do read all of your comments. Um, and I was going to say about somebody's comment, that this because I'm sure... That this yarn, if you're in America, I'm sure, but I'm not 100% sure, I'm sure it's called a light worsted weight yarn. I think it's classed as eight ply in America. But in England, we call it, just we just call it double knit yarn because we just do. <laughs> so, um, thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, and um, bye for now.